I'm Peter, and welcome to another edition of F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Lessons. On any given day, there are approximately 2,000 distributed denial of service attacks that are targeting organization systems worldwide. In fact, we're seeing a 125% year over year increase in DDoS attacks. But there's a way that you can get comprehensive attack mitigation with F5's silver line cloud based platform. So let's take a look at a typical setup. Uh, we got our happy guy out here hitting the, uh, the big bad internet. They come into, that's a router by the way, come into your systems and then you have your, you know, maybe your DNS and network layer. So layers three and four. And then of course you have your layer seven, your application layer. And everything's just fine as, you know, traffic comes in and comes out and the, uh, and the visitor gets what they need. And it could also be an employee trying to access corporate resources, of course. But then one day, Mr. Yuck shows up. You guys remember that from the, from the old things. Now, Mr. Yuck decides that he wants to just flood your systems with a distributed denial of service attack. And, you know, it could be anything, heavy traffic or, you know, other types of attacks. So what it does is that it saturates, can saturate your line, can, uh, you know, saturate and affect the network layer. So once that's saturated, nothing's responding. They start attacking either the network layer or even worse, they start attacking the application layer which is actually where most attacks go to because that's where the, the valuable data is. But with Silverline's hybrid signaling, now this is pretty cool. Hybrid signaling is actually an IAP. Let me write it over here. Hybrid signaling. So it's an IAP that you can download. And what you do is you load this IAP either on your big IP or the uh, DDoS hybrid defender and once you have this IAP running, it actually opens up and it's some advanced configurations and allows you to configure certain thresholds, whether it be volumetric thresholds or, um, you know, a bad actor type thresholds or, you know, certain types of things to then uh, trigger a signal. And so what happens is all the traffic, you know, comes in and the hybrid signaling allows you to integrate the on-premise solutions with a cloud-based scrubbing system, Silverline. So uh, when you reach the, the certain thresholds, uh, what can happen is it could be either the layer three or four or the application layer. They actually signal, let's make our Silverline. And once you reach certain thresholds, Silverline will be notified and then Silverline can then take over the traffic. And so instead of coming direct to you guys, this, it would now be redirected through the Silverline uh, cloud-based platform and even this bad guy. And this would then scrub the traffic and then bring it up back to you clean without all of the bad stuff incorporated. So with things like the layer three and layer four protection. So first off the volumetric attacks, all you need is TMOS. I think it's 11.5 and later, cause that's part of the TMOS platform. Things like protocol, sanit uh, protocol validation, uh, sanitizing, that sort of stuff. Um, when you want to get to the layer three and fours and the layer seven stuff, you might need additional modules. So uh, with layer three and four type stuff, you'll need the AFM module and integrated. Now, depending on what you have, you may or may not need um, 
to add it. And so that will then protect against like DNS based attacks or ICMP floods or SYN floods and those sorts of network based attacks. And then the layer seven attacks, you would need uh, ASM, the web application firewall. And so that would take care of things like uh, SQL injections or bad actors, known bad IP address ranges, that type of stuff to then protect against the uh, layer seven type attacks. And now this is pretty cool because you have a hybrid solution to where you get overloaded, for instance, it breaks a threshold and then you'll do our, um, our security operations team can do a DNS redirect. So then Silverline uh, starts taking the traffic there, scrubbing it and sending the clean stuff uh, to your data center. So there's a signal sent to Silverline, you know, we need some help. Can you take over the load? And then once it drops below the threshold, uh, another signal is sent to say, okay, you know, maybe we don't need the Silverline backup anymore. We can take the traffic, um, take the traffic ourselves. So you can either have a big IP in line and that'll then obviously, uh, you know, an existing big IP, I should say, in line and then add and then have it detect and then send a silver line. Or you could have your, you know, big IP on the perimeter in the DMZ also doing the, um, the checks or the, you know, the threshold checks to then make sure that if something breaks that threshold, you're then able to redirect the traffic over to silver line. So it allows, as you can see, comprehensive attack mitigation. You can have your on-prem stuff handle what you need. And then if it goes past that, you can send it over to Silverline. You can, of course, obviously have you know, Silverline running all the time and just have all of the traffic, say you're um, getting hit constantly, go through Silverline to clean it and, um, and then send it back. So a kind of cool way and um, uh, somewhat new, not really new. It's been out for a little while, but it's kind of neat. And it's an IAP. So the hybrid signaling IAP that you can then download, um, add to your big IP or your DDoS hybrid defender, integrate your on-prem with the cloud for a comprehensive attack mitigation from both uh, DDoS layer, you know, DDoS types attacks along with the application layer, bad actor, uh, OWASP top 10, and those sorts of attacks. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to DevCentral's channel right around here, I think is where we'll put the thing. <laughs> I'm Peter, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the community.